restoration of earth and natural resources. During Babylon's siege, a nation died in flames facing the judgment of God's wrath. The house of Israel was a disconnected society, they had lost faith in God and the willpower to live. They had acknowledgeable hatred while shedding the blood of children by force of the sword, in a time of their calamity. God wasn't happy with them loving idols, and not acknowledging him as a God. Their nation's sin had emptied the hourglass of God's grace, as a result, the wrath of judgment left the lands in a desolate state. Ezekiel saw people whose time had run out. The surviving Israelites of the devastating flames of Babylon had no dreams nor hope. The environment was full of arid remains of lifeless bodies, without the slightest hope of a resurrection. Those Israelites were ashamed of their sins, and it became a time for repenting of sin and returning to God. The desolate state of the lands of Israel is the desolate state in which the lands are in the world today. Just as they thought there was no hope all had vanished and were cut off forever. People today have given up on the hope of the resurrection. But, there must be a proclamation of the word of God throughout the earth and in the human hearts, to receive an inheritance. If you are seeking an inheritance from the lands, God will not allow the force of calamity on kids and love for idols, overshadow the need to acknowledge that he is a God. And God will not allow the earth to remain polluted filled with waste. It is the result of individuals valuing material things, idols, over life itself. Although lands of the inheritances are a desolate state, the heavenly spirit will bring you into your land so you can acknowledge him as a God. Ezekiel 45 1-25 tells how new lands of the inheritance were divided. There was no suspense on who got what land, but the people failed to take all the land God had given them. God acknowledges all. Bless his heavenly name. Ezekiel 46 1-24 Almost every time after calamity leaders prepared burnt and peace offerings for the Sabbath day, today this would be on a Sunday. Read to find out what was restored in Ezekiel 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. God's gift of the heart. Although you have access to the natural ways of gardening for eating natural foods. There are other reasons for gardening, it enhances the earth's atmosphere. People can help increase the value of inheritances on earth, the kingdom of God by committing to three ways below for reducing carbon dioxide and methane in the earth's atmosphere. Climate change impacts human health well-being, and it is a critical public health problem. Once individuals start taking effective steps it will yield benefits for health, environment, economy, and society at the same time. Climate change makes many existing health conditions worse, also, it may help introduce new pests and pathogens into new communities or regions. As the planet warms, oceans expand, sea levels rise, and then floods and droughts intensify as they become more frequent. This is when heat waves and hurricanes become more severe, and the most vulnerable individuals are children, the elderly, and the poor. Those with chronic health conditions are at increased risk for health effects from climate change. Climate change also stresses healthcare delivery systems and infrastructure. The result of the increase in ozone, warm, stagnant air tends to increase the formation of ozone, climate change is likely to increase levels of ground level ozone in already polluted areas of the United States and increase the number of days with poor air quality. If emissions of the air's pollutants remain fixed at today's levels until 2050, warming from climate change alone could increase the number of red ozone alert days, when air is unhealthy for everyone by 68% in the 50 largest eastern U.S. cities. Since 1990 the United States environment, the heavy population has drastically changed the Earth's ability to remove C02 from the atmosphere than emissions. Human growth activities are altering the carbon cycle two ways by adding more C02 into the atmosphere and removing natural sinks from the atmosphere. Lowering the value of the Earth and its natural resources. Biological carbon sequestration as a greenhouse sink in planets and soils takes C02 out of the atmosphere. Plants absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere as they grow, and they store some of the carbon throughout their lifetime. Soils can also store carbon, depending on how the soil is managed. Carbon dioxide is the primary greenhouse gas contributing to recent climate change. C02 is absorbed and emitted naturally as part of the carbon cycle, through animal and plant respiration, volcanic eruptions, and ocean atmosphere exchange. Many strategies for reducing C02 emissions from energy are cross-cutting and apply to homes, businesses, industry, and transportation. Electricity is a significant source of energy in the United States and is used to power homes, businesses, and the industry. To produce a given amount of electricity, burning coal will produce more C02 than oil or natural gas. Methane's lifetime in the atmosphere is much shorter than carbon dioxide, but CH4 is more efficient at trapping radiation than C02. Pound for pound, the comparative impact of CH4 on climate change is over 20 times greater than C02 over 100 years. Natural gas and petroleum systems are the largest sources of CH4 emissions from industry in the United States. Methane is the primary component of natural gas, and the second most prevalent greenhouse gas emitted in the United States. Methane is emitted by natural sources such as wetlands, 
as well as human activities such as leakage from natural gas systems and the raising of livestock. Wetlands are the largest source, emitting CH4 from bacteria decompose organic materials in the absence of oxygen. Smaller sources include oceans, sediments, termites, volcanoes, and wildfires. Natural processes in soil and chemical reactions in the atmosphere help remove CH4 from the atmosphere. Some CH4 is emitted to the atmosphere during the distribution, processing, production, storage, and transmission of natural gas. Domestic livestock such as buffalo, camels, cattle, goats, and sheep produce large amounts of CH4 as part of their normal digestive process. Livestock production systems can also emit other greenhouse gases such as nitrous oxide and carbon dioxide. Also, when animal manure is stored or managed in lagoons or holding tanks, CH4 is produced. Methane is generated in landfills as waste decomposes and in the treatment of wastewater. Landfills are the third largest source of CH4 emissions in the United States. At the regional level, changes in precipitation and temperature patterns could jeopardize current agricultural practices. There are three effective ways people can help increase the value. To reduce carbon dioxide, C02, and methane, CH4, emissions, reduce fossil fuel consumption, increase plant natural sinks by planting more fruit and vegetables, and reduce the amount of animal and dairy products individuals consume. To help reduce fossil fuel people would need to cut back on electricity and transportation usage, by at least 40% of the normal use. To help increase natural sinks, people would need to plant in their backyards or front yards. And cast the fruitless trees into a fire, as God said to do. The government may reduce climate change in various ways, however, none can replace the tools that already exist. And people can do more to cut back on waste in landfills, by cutting back on material stuff. The lands ought to be revitalized, and then people can plant fruits and vegetables on lands that were damaged by wildfires, to recover rich forests for natural sinks. Other ways people can help are replenishing lakes, rivers, and streams. Also, by raising money to tear down old building structures, for land restoration throughout the U.S. We acknowledge these ways can be more effective, and they have worked in the past. You build a great country by what you do today, not by what you have done in the past. And we all may know more ways to be more effective. Divine promise The term promise in its nominal and verbal form refers to promises made by people to other people and people to God in the form of vows, and God's promises to the people. God's word of grace is a promise, and many people are good in areas others aren't. When people obey his commandments, it brings him assurance of love in faith, grace, and obedience. Some exercise faith with obedience, prayer, or righteous good works. And most likely they will receive their inheritance in their lifetime. Many wonders why people don't receive an inheritance, since some have passed on from this life without receiving it. This means their faith and works were dead. Meaning they never exercised any of them. People who don't exercise faith with obedience and prayer, never exercise righteous good works. They don't understand how the Spirit of God works in their lives. When you exercise them all you will receive a massive inheritance. The disobedience of the children of Israel never stood in the way of them possessing lands. The children must be able to understand how the Spirit of God works in their life, to receive an inheritance for when they grow up. The more they can exercise the Spirit of the Father living in them, the sooner they receive an inheritance. However, God is a forgiving God and He looks out for children no matter what. Divine appointment A divine appointment is a precise place or time, in which the meeting is led by the Spirit of God, an inspiration where He is sovereign throughout the powerful experience. Throughout the Bible, there are examples of divine appointments. Have you had a special coincidence where it seems God was present? Sometimes God just wants to bless you by enabling achievements, miracles, rewards, etc. Time after time God leads the faithful to cross another person's path and extraordinary things happen. Practice is led by the Spirit of God. The possibilities of divine appointments are endless. Example, Mary Magdalene suffered from disorders, and Sister Martha discerningly rebuked her. Then persuaded Mary to listen to Jesus Christ's exhortations, Mary's heart was touched and she became converted. The seven demons possessed her were cast out by Jesus, and the seven deadly sins are familiar to us all. The list includes axity, anger, covetousness, dejection, fornication, gluttony, and canadoxia. The first resurrection Jesus performed was the widowed son in a town called Nain. Luke 7 11, 17, Jesus raised Jairus' daughter a 12-year-old synagogue leader from near death. Luke 8 52, 56, Mary and sister Martha sent someone to tell Jesus Lazarus was sick, he said, sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God. He told the disciples he was near death therefore, he and his disciples traveled to Bethany a town in Judea. Jesus said to take away the stone, Martha said he stinks he has been dead four days, and then they took away the stone where he laid. Jesus prayed to God, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. Then he cried out, Lazarus come out. And he came out with grave clothes, 
his face was bound with a napkin. John 11, the Apostle Peter raised Tabitha, whose Greek name was Dorcas, a believer who lived in the coastal city of Joppa from near death. Acts 9 36, 43, the Apostle Paul raised Eutychus a young man from near death in a town Troas, and he had been near death once before. Acts 20 7, 12, the prophet Elijah raised the widow of Zarephath a son from near death. 1 Kings 17 17, 24, the prophet Elisha raised the Shunammite woman's son from near death, in a city called Mount Carmel. 2 Kings 4 18, 37, various saints were raised from the coffins where they laid in Jerusalem after the resurrection of Christ. Matthew 27 50, 53, while the Bible says these individuals were dead, it doesn't say they had perished. Also, people didn't eat processed foods as they do today therefore, they were able to use believing in the power of the resurrection, crying out their name, prayer, stretching over the body, and even talking to them as forms of revivification. This means the spirit returned to the body of these people.